So we can put a red tick mark beside this because it's all done. Alrighty, um, on to my least favorite part of the course, uh, the general policies. Um, this is on page two of your syllabus. Um, this is here because it's all here because I've had problems in the past and I'm a big believer on solving a problem before it becomes a problem. So you'll find here uh, policies on plagiarism, uh, missed assignments, assignment submission, email, uh, discussion forums, and extra credit. So um, that's, that's, it, these are all here because I've had um, problems in the past and I just don't want to engage with those problems. It just makes things better for everybody if there's a policy right up front. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is read the rather, rather lengthy de de uh, definition of plagiarism from um, the student handbook. It's the policies and procedures section and I've given you the link at the bottom of the page. And it reads, plagiarizing the work of others. Plagiarism is using someone else's work or ideas without giving that person credit. By doing this, a student is, in effect, credit, claiming credit for someone else's thinking. Whether a student has read or heard the information used, a student must document the source of the information. When dealing with written sources, a clear distinction should be made between quotations which reproduce the information from a source word for word within the quota uh, within, uh, 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 within quotation marks and paraphrases which dies digest the source of the information and produce it in the stu student's own words. Um, both direct quotations and paraphrases must be documented. Even if a student rephrases, condenses, or selects from uh, uh, another person's work, the ideas are still the other person's and failure to give credit constitutes misrepresentation of the student's actual work and plagiarism of another's ideas. Buying a paper or using information from uh, the web or the internet without attribution and handing it in as one's own is plagiarism. So it's, now I should be clear, this is, this is on you, right? Um, it, you should become familiar with academic standards, how to do research, how to do careful research at that. And um, it, it, you comport yourself to those standards, right? I, I'm well aware that there is such a thing as unintentional plagiarism. Unintentional plagiarism results from sloppy academic work. So when you are preparing your assignments, if you're reading sources that don't come directly from your head or from these textbooks, then what you need to do is keep track of where those sources came from. I know how it goes. You click this, you click that, you click that, you don't know where you read what. Well, that's what a pen and a piece of paper are for. You write everything down. If there's an idea that you're engaging with from a source external, you keep track of that, and I need a reference, right? So um, this has been sort of a pandemic, right, uh, so far in my, my university teaching career. So I have a tough policy on plagiarism, right? So this is, this is one, why I hate the policy section, because this is the beginning of an ethics course. I don't know any of you. I'm sure you're very nice. You haven't done anything yet. And already I'm going, don't do it, right? As though you've done something. It, it turns me into a prosecutor and you into the prosecuted even before any sort of nefarious deed is done. I, this is, it, I've got theoretical and practical problems with this, but nonetheless, it's such a constant problem that I have to say something about it. Now I'm, I'm, well, I'm, an, I'm your ethics professor. I'm also uh, sort of a tough cop on academic integrity. Right? I've had a number, number, <laughs> the double digits through the dean of students' office at Oakland University, and that's for two reasons. One, because I take this seriously. This is theft. If you're if you're taking somebody else's words or ideas and claiming credit for it. You're stealing, right? And in the context of an ethics course, we cannot have that. We can't have that, right? But two, on top of that, right, 
It's just in my contract. Oakland University considers me an adequate judge of the quality of your work, but when it comes to authorship, if there's any question of that, I'm not allowed to make that determination. I have to pass it on to the Dean of Students Office. And then they do an investigation, and then there's a hearing, and the sanctions, they, they can be quite severe. You could be just kicked out of school, right? You could be suspended. Another thing that can happen if you wind up doing this, and this is where I'm all fire and brimstone, about this, right, is they could suspend you for the current semester. You know how you're probably taking like five classes? You plagiarize in the one class, you know how you've paid four and gotten grades in the other four? Not anymore. And they take them away. And so that's a steep fine. Then you'd probably be on probation for the duration of your academic career, etc., etc., etc. So just don't do it. My course policy is you automatically fail the course. If I catch you doing this, well, what I have to do uh, is pass it on to the Dean of Students Office. Uh, it's just in my contract. If I don't do that, I could be fired and I need this job. I've got twin girls, right? Um, but on top of that, right, just to help you with your cost-benefit analysis here, you fail the course. It's not just the assignment uh, that you fail. It's, it's the entire course you fail. Right? So don't do it. It's always it's always best to do your own work, and that's what I'm looking for anyway. I can't grade it if it's not your work, because I'm giving you a grade, not Wikipedia or SparkNotes or whatever. Right? And an additional thing, it's really wicked easy to detect. Don't get on those paraphrasing programs. They're all garbage. I've I've done an extensive investigation of them. Right? So don't don't try that. Right, I'll find it. Right. Um, don't go to additional online. I've been at this a long time. I'm the author of some of this stuff, right? So um, just don't do it. We'll be fine, right? Now, you're probably freaking out. Oh, no, I don't know what plagiarism is. Look at the second footnote, right? If you're unsure how to properly cite your work uh, or what's required from you with regard to um, important academic integrity, this important academic integrity issue. Please avail yourself to the Cite Rate program, the Kresge Library's plagiarism tutorial. It's actually really good. And so um, you should do it and they will train you in a reference style while you're at it. Uh, general, generally for the arts, a course like this one, it's MLA or Chicago. Um, before you even ask, um, because you are going to be writing from me, uh, for me, you know, what writing style? Pick one. Be consistent. I, I read them all. all right? Just only, I'm more concerned that you reference than I am how you reference. Right? So um, just, just, just be honest and do your work with integrity and we'll be just fine. I can't see you passing in an ethics course if you don't, though. Right? So. Um, it, you should know that going in, anyhow. Um, it, but again, I'm sure you're nice, and, and we won't have any issues. You do your work, I'll do mine, and everything will be smiley. Uh, as, as my Prime Minister says, sunny ways, whatever that means. Anyhow, uh, missed assignments. God, I understand that life happens. I've got twin girls. They've got one of them has um, disabilities, so I'm up and down the highway for medical appointments at, 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 at more advanced medical centers in Canada quite often. Right? Um, so you know, I get it. I get it. My kids have sick days. My wife has sick days. Um, you know, things happen. Right? Um, they, uh, all I'm saying with the missed assignment to pol uh, policy, which reads, in the unfortunate event that you miss an assignment uh, a date due to serious illness or death in the family, you must notify me via email, telephone, message with the departmental office, either before the date and time in question or within 12 hours of the deadline or due, late, due date. Otherwise, I will not be able to offer an extension. All I'm saying here is that Extensions are a conversation. Again, if you're working with me, I'll work with you. That's that's how that works, right? But what I can't have is what I've had in past semesters and why there's a policy. In December, I'm contacted about a September assignment. Oh, hey, I missed the deadline for this assignment. Uh, it was back in September. When can I redo it? 
No, no, it's too late. The course has moved on. You've had assessment keys. You've talked to other students in the class. They've had feedback and that sort of thing. Plus, you've had a ton of time to do the material and the rest of the people did it in a timely manner. That's not fair to anyone, including me, because then I have to go back and grade it right when I don't have to go back and time to go back and grade it. But if, if the sky falls, right, if life happens, you let me know and I will be forthcoming with extensions right, of the reasonable sort. You're not getting a three month extension out of me though, right? So um, that's why that policy is there. Assignment submission, every now and again, right? I get a student that says, oh, I swear I uploaded it to Moodle, but it's not there. I don't know. I don't know. Right? And, well, I don't, I, I don't know. It's your responsible, their responsibility to get it to me. If you're not sure it uploaded to Moodle, email it to me. Then I have it two ways. Right? And then that way you're sure I got it. I'm sure I've got it. And then it gets graded in a timely kind of way. Right? The second thing I'll say is every now and again it happens, Socrates Aristotle exam, I click on it and it's, it's a lengthy write-up about something from William Wordsworth. And while I like William Wordsworth and enjoy reading about it, right, you know, it's not a response to a Socrates a, a, a Aristotle exam. Make sure you get me the right file. Right? Make sure it's the complete file because when you submit it, getting it to me is your responsibility grading it and offering commentary that's on me i'll do that all right you'll find i offer pretty good commentary all right so i put a lot of effort into that so you get me your work i grade it that's how that works all right so it's your responsibility to make sure you get me the assignment get me the assignment for sure i've got it and get me the right document Right, and I, I'll, I'll do my thing. Right, um, email policy. Uh, people go crazy because I teach these online courses, and there are like 105 of you and one of me, and you all email, and I cannot keep up quite often. I also manage four or five different email addresses for various reasons. I, I do some service work for academic communities. Um, I work for the University of Windsor as well. Um, and through the writing support desk, I have people emailing me all the time. So um, I fall behind. I try to keep up. I really do. Right? But sometimes I fall behind. Um, sometimes what I'll do in that situation, if I've had 10 of the same question, I email everybody. Right? If there are 10 of you with that question, there are probably 50 of you with that question. I'm not ignoring you, I'm just trying to be efficient and help everybody, right? Um, but, um, do, 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 yeah, so the, 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 that's, 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 that's the thing, right? Um, it's also not instant, right? I have a couple of days a week, my availability is Tuesday and Thursday this semester, right? that I can concentrate in some time over the weekends and in the evenings, right? And I can concentrate on um, keeping up with the correspondence for this course. It's difficult also because I read every single forum as well, right? Which eats up quite a lot of time. Um, but it's, I understand I'm doing my level best to keep up with absolutely everything. If there are important things that I need to be a Rest of send me a second email. I don't get upset when I get a second email. Right? That reminds me because perhaps it's fallen down um, in, in in my feed. Right? So um, if I was missing it, you, you'll probably get a. I'm I'm so sorry. My sincere apologies for, from me. But nonetheless, um, one more thing about that. Sometimes I email the guy across the hall, and it takes most of the day to get to him. So if I'm not back to you in 20 seconds, uh, that doesn't mean I didn't get your email. That means that it's somewhere in an IT services cloud working its way towards me because that's how things um, work, right? Um, discussion forum content policy. This is Introduction to Ethics. Um, it, we're going to talk about every uncomfortable topic that um, you can imagine, right? All of it's within bounds, 
right? Um, and uh, the debates that you're getting in uh, will likely become heated, right? You will take a position, you will take it strongly with conviction, which I'm not telling you not to, um, and somebody will critique it, you might get angry, right? Keep in mind, we are talking about the material, so responses, have to do with the content and not the person. So any sort of personal attack or derogatory comment about somebody else, sanctions. And I'll remove the post and it, it deal with the offending student. Um, this, this is all part of the, the policies and procedures with regard to conduct anyway, right? Um, but I've simplified it. Um, it. Keep it classy, keep it topical. Those are the two principles. Right. The idea is that you're talking about ideas with people who are also talking about ideas. You have no idea how valuable a resource this is. God, if I could get people to talk about ideas with me. Right. But um, if you go attacking people, right, it's not going to fly. It's just not going to fly. The other thing is, if I get questions like, hey, how did everybody do on that exam? Or when are we getting our assignments back or things like that? Well, that's not part of a Socrates forum or an Aristotle forum, right? This is an instructional resource. It's not, it's, it's, it's not Twitter, it's not Snapchat, it's not Facebook, it's not whatever new thing that I'm unaware of is out there, right? It's not that. This is for talking about the material. It's an academic resource, so keep, keep it on track, right? Otherwise, I'll caution you. So, um, and then extra credit, this is the big ta-da sort of moment at the end. No, no, no extra, there's not enough time or resources for extra credit in these. I give you lots of opportunity. You'll see that as I move to um, the assignments, right? The assessments next. Anyhow, um, again, uh, since I said I'd do it, I'll do it again. Uh, your schedule is right here. Um, all of your due dates and all of your work is laid out in one convenient, easy page. Keep up with that. Um, keep it timely. Keep it classical. Keep it topical. Um, and don't try to pass other people's work off as your own. Just work diligently yourself. Um, you work with me. I will work with you. And I'm sure everybody can do well in this course. I've been at this a long time, and anyone who's applied themselves in my course has wound up A-OK. -okay. And hopefully we can have some great discussions in a friendly, inviting environment that makes everybody feel safe, right? Um, throughout the semester, right? That is the goal. All right, next we will move to assignments and assessment, right?